it's just not a very fun activity, campaigning. So this campaign season, my team and I decided to do a different campaign. So we invited a group of people to come and participate in an online video chat hangout called Google Hangouts, which we rebranded re as Raleigh Plus Hangouts. We brought people together and asked, What's in, what in Raleigh is broken? Those groups came together and into multiple Hangout groups, and we started talking about a number of different issues in our community. After getting our Google Plus Hangouts going, which was our virtual conversation, we started some in-person conversations. We held an entrepreneurship roundtable with about 80 entrepreneurs who came in and talked about their needs in the city and how Raleigh is, is meeting those needs. We also talked about broadband and identified some possible solutions for getting broadband expanded in our area. We talked about transit and the need for the $75 million bond that was just passed. We talked about the importance of increasing local funding through the county's half cent sales tax referendum. We talked about bike and pet issues and found an interest in people using our greenways as, as ways to commute. And we talked about education and discussed how the recent legislation has been impacting teachers and how it's been affecting the way that they do their jobs. We talked about solid waste and identified an innovative means to re reduce cost for the city and increase recycling called pay as you throw. We talked about addiction and our approach to recovery and how it affects our economy, homelessness, and our prison system. So why would we want to have this different kind of campaign where there's community conversations as opposed to just strict marketing? Why well, I think it's focusing on the steak instead of the sizzle. And there's another reason. It's because it's a lot of fun. If you bring people together to solve a problem collectively, what I've seen is that they'll identify the problem and then they'll fix it. There are people in this community who care more about solving our collective problems than they care about debating them, and they're getting engaged, and new technology allows that. In 2010, this is how we used to report citizen issues. It's obviously not a great means to, to convey that information, and I would challenge anybody in the audience to call one of those numbers and see how long it takes for the issue that you're trying to get fixed to be resolved. So we began researching how other cities handle problems in their community and found C-Click Fix. C-Click Fix is a next generation 311 app that's transparent and social. It allows people to take geotagged photos of issues in their community with their phone, upload it to the internet, and whether it's trash, a pothole, graffiti, the city comes out and fixes it in about two days. It's beautiful. So implementing C-Click Fix in Raleigh brought out this whole new army. This uh, new group of people who were participating in this different way and interacting with government and providing government services at no cost to the city is something that's never really happened before. There hasn't been this opportunity to have a connection between citizen and government that now exists. And for lack of a better descriptor, descript, descriptor of this new kind of activism, we called it guerrilla citizenship. In order to replicate the success of C-Click Fix and cr try and create an engine to produce more C-Click Fix-like applications or build them internally, we started City Camp North Carolina. City Camp North Carolina is a combination hackathon, unconference that works with businesses, citizens, and government to try and uh, address our collective problems through technology. Out of C-Click Fix have come a number of incredible initiatives. Triangle Wiki allows citizen editors to curate valuable public information better than the government ever could. 
My Raleigh Ideas allow you to contribute your ideas for our community. Open Our Greenway is a interactive greenway map that has C-click fix integration, weather alerts, parking locations, and more. Open Raleigh allows anyone to find, use all of, find and use all of the city's data. My Raleigh subscriptions allow you to sign up for the specific email content you want to receive from the city of Raleigh. And lastly, Code for America has formed to bring apps that have been built in other communities and stand them up in Raleigh. Their first app is a adopt a bus shelter app similar to adopt a highway. So what's going on here? What's happening in all this, uh, all these new initiatives? And I think it goes back to a long, long time ago, to the very beginning of government and a macro trend that's occurring now. So government started out as tribes where everyone had a say in just about everything. And then the disruptive technology of weapons came along and consolidated power, bringing it through nation states and feudal states. Then the printing press came along, spread the power of knowledge out to citizens, brought about the Reformation, uh, demands for self-government, governance and peasant re revolt. Then mass media came along and consolidated power again, giving us a false sense of understanding and the veneer of power. We're in the midst of a new disruptive technology right now called the digital revolution. The digital revolution is redistributing power, command and control back to the citizen. Witness the Arab Spring. Nine out of 10 Egyptians and Tunisians said that they use social media to engage, promote, and uh, rally around the many protests that occurred across the Middle East. Just like in Raleigh, there, just like in the Middle East, there are people in Raleigh who want to fix what's broken. They're just doing it in a little bit different way. It may not be as dramatic as what's happening in the, in the Middle East, but it's the same sentiment. It's a desire to fix what's broken and work to make our community a better place together. The digital revolution is changing the world. Our, our reaction to that is going to be this guerrilla citizenship that's going to allow citizens to exert power in a whole different way than has ever happened before. It's incredibly exciting to be in this, in this moment in time. I think people are gonna look back on this time in history as a, a gilded age of technology when technology began to redistribute power again. I hope you all will see that importance and, and be a part of this. I hope you'll join me. Thanks.